Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Geneva Concours in Geneva, Illinois, and I'm here with Bob. Bob, what's your last name? Groman. Groman, and Bob's got an interesting car for you that looks just spectacular. And Bob, what did you bring here today? Today I brought my Triumph TR4. It's a 1965. Uh, it was built at the end of the line uh, for the TR4s right before the TR4A came out. So it has most of the bells and whistles that the 4A had, yeah. except for the independent rear suspension. Now you've got a club you're associated with. Tell me about that. I belong to the Illinois Sports Owners Association, and that is the Triumph Club in the Chicago area. Uh, we're probably the largest Triumph Club in the nation, Yeah. and we are a member with the Vintage Triumph Register, which is a national club. And this car is your passion? This car is my passion. This car is your passion. I want to first, before we get to the car, just feature this so that people can take that in, what they'd like of the story of this car. Bob, come on right next to me. Let's take a look, and in my opinion, your perfect TR4. You know, these cars have continued to get better and better looking as time has gone by, isn't it? I think so. Uh, People are restoring them more and more, too. They're kind of getting it. Yes. And look at the detail in the headlight and the wonderful gorilla here and the Lucas. Now, this was an, uh, an option at the time, right? To get yes. the Lucas uh, fog lights? Yes. The fog lights were an option. The tri bar headlights were an option. Right here. Okay. So come on with me for a second. And we're looking at the side of it. Now, in the sun, is beaming perfectly on your car. Let's take a look at some of the details. How do you like driving with the uh, spoke wheels? I mean, it's is that comfortable? Fine. It's it's very comfortable. The new, the modern spoke wheels. These are uh, Dayton spoke wheels. They are true for life, and they're a wonderful wheel. There's no problem with them whatsoever. Gas filler. Correct. Is there a problem ever putting gas in there, or do you have to like? Take the hand and make sure. <laughs> All right. Only, only when I'm, only when I'm clumsy. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about these lower tail lights. One looks like a reverse, and one looks like a. Now, was that also aftermarket for the TR4? Again, like the fog lights in the front, those were aftermarket. The, the TR4 did not come with a reverse light or backup light. At all. At all. So. Lucas made these lights in order for people to put them on if they wanted to. The red light, which is identical except for the lens, uh, is a fog light, which was uh, a big option in Europe. Yeah, kind of a European, and we have our fog light on in the, in the back. What's the reaction of people when you're driving this? Cool car, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, open up the interior, please. Let's okay. take a look at that. Excuse me, thanks. And now, how tall are you? Stand next to the car. About six foot two? Yeah, I'm six two. So, do you fit comfortable? Well, with the top up, you, you probably fit pretty comfortably. Top up? Or I fit even better with the top down. Really? Okay, let me take a look inside. All right. And we've got the driving gloves and the cap. And let me just focus on all of the detail of the buttons. And there. And each knob across. And the handbrakes on the far side. Correct. They didn't change that until the TR4A when they put it in the center. Okay. And was that radio came that way or? Yes. Okay. Interesting positioning for the radio. Look it at the was it was kind of an afterthought. The four was the first Triumph that came with a radio. The pedals have nice spacing. Yes. I mean, you know, it's it's not like sometimes I thought you might be squeezing your feet, but that doesn't look like the case at all. Let's open up the uh, hood, please. Tell me about, first of all, the mirrors. You obviously have to adjust them by getting outside the car. <laughs> yes, you do. Tell me about this antenna. That antenna is an aftermarket antenna. Okay. I bought it. It is a period antenna, but I bought it because of the red dot on top. Yeah, that looks to cool. Match the interior. Let me let me show what the hood looks like on this car up. So that people can kind of take that in. And now let's go back to the car. Bob, would you would you start the car please in just a moment? Sure. 
This is your this is your uh, uh, brakes. Brake and clutch. Brake and clutch. And I'm going to go on both sides so that people can see that side too. Let's start her up. Bob, that's smooth. Thank you. Yeah, that is smooth. Bob, give it just a little rev. That's good. Let's shut her down. I didn't notice this at first. What does that little emblem there mean? Turn oh, it's the turn signals. Got it. Okay. Come on out. Such a treat. Let's shut the hood, please. Okay. Bob, I'll have you stand right next to your car. Bob, what a treat. What a fantastic restoration. Wonderful job. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Thank you very much.